Remote booze bans, once a Commonwealth law, now the Territory claims it's picking up the pieces. What is disappointing is they've walked away at the 11th hour, like they always do. Last night, a bill passed through NT Parliament. And we're proud to not continue the intervention giving a number of Aboriginal communities freedom to choose whether they want to continue with existing alcohol bans after they expire as expected in July. We voted against the alcohol legislation that was rammed through by Natasha Files and her government yesterday afternoon despite the outpouring of anger from the community. But the government says something needed to be done, claiming the coalition government has washed its hands of any responsibility. We've heard crickets from the Commonwealth. The federal CLP candidates have had a lot to say on this issue um, when the reality is that um, their federal counterparts who've been in government have got a lot to, to answer for. With an election just days away, the coalition accused the new chief minister of looking to score cheap political points. Indigenous Australians Minister Ken Wyatt says he's been consulting on the laws and has accepted the NT government's offer to transition the legislation. Federal Labor says it supports the law's ending and would work with the NT government and affected communities about what comes next. This Indigenous member of NT Parliament believes both sides and levels of politics are to blame for the harm caused by the intervention era laws that are ending. You're both responsible. You need to fix it together. And while they faced accusations of staying silent on alcohol bans, phones across the NT have been pinging with CLP attack ads linking the basics card to rising crime. A sign the Territory's difficult social issues are lining up to play out at the ballot box. Matt Garrick, ABC News.